Tam Fam, please welcome Maria Peters Clark to the show. <laughs> you heard from so many people after he passed away about how wonderful he was. You knew it, but to hear it from others, what was that like? I was, after I posted on Facebook that my son had went to heaven, <clears throat> my phone just did a dance. It was just jumping around. And I heard so many stories from young women, how he encouraged them to look for better boyfriends, mm. not just a settle. Um, one girl was on the brink of suicide saying how he just spoke to her and talked to her and kept her motivated and encouraged her to live her life better and make better decisions. Um, women on side the road, he helped change tires and stay with them. And, it was just such an outpouring of love from the community and just people that he had encountered. I was just, you know, just brought to tears. Like, yeah. I didn't realize the impact. I knew he was always dancing and being a life of the party, but just to hear the stories of how he inspired and uplifted people just brought me to brought so much love to my heart because I didn't realize that he was doing all that. It's so, I'm so struck by the fact that when he was 18 and he got the license and he became an organ donor that he said, I want you to spread me like the stars if anything were to happen. When he said I, that... I was like, do you understand what you're saying? Yeah. I said, do you understand what you're doing or what you signed up for? I said, um, that's life changing. And mm -hmm. he says, mom, if something was ever to happen to me, I'm gone. She said, spread me like the stars. And he was just dancing and moving around. I'm like, oh, okay, son, do you yeah. really want to be spread like the stars? He said, mom, use me. Use me like the stars. He says, spread me everywhere. When it came to that moment where you honored his wish and reflected on those words, what was that like for you? Oh, my kids were broken. After the doctor had said that he had no brain activity, I was like crushed. So when um, I, I took the doctor out the room, because my kids were in there just bawling, I said, Nick wanted to be an organ donor. I said, is it possible that we can use his organs? And he said, absolutely. So I said, give me a few minutes to talk to my children. And after going into the room with them and I said, it's too much magic and love to bury in the ground. You are an incredible woman, I have to tell you. <laughs> a year after Nick passed away, you wrote letters to all of his transplant recipients, uh -huh. um, the people whose lives that he saved, and you learned of a boy who received your son's heart, and that he actually lived three hours away? Oh, yes. Oh, I was like... I want to meet him. I said, I want to tell them about Nick. You know, let them know what kind of magic they had inside of him. And when I spoke to his mother and father, they called me on a, the, a year to the day. And they were crying and saying how they didn't have words, but they appreciated my gift to them. And they were going to take good care of it. I was like, I want to meet you all. I love y'all. Y'all my family. I said, God gave him to me and I gave him to you. Oh. Coming up, the 14-year-old who was saved by Maria's son's incredible gift is here. What it was like the moment Maria heard her son's heartbeat again. We'll be right back. We are joined now by Jean-Paul Marceau and his mom, Candace Armstrong, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks for having us. Candace, when you learned that, the, the program was anonymous, and you always wanted to meet the donor family. Correct. <clears throat> when you got that letter. So when we got the letter, it was... From Maria. From, from Miss Maria. It was so surprising because his first donor, that, you know, his first hero, they remained anonymous, so we never knew who actually donated to us. So we always had just this person that in our minds or this baby, but we never knew. And when we got the letter from Miss Maria to see 
that beautiful face and it brought his father and I down to our knees again. <clears throat> yeah. You and it said was <laughs> in that piece, I was so struck by the fact that, as you said, it was a surreal moment because your son is being given life by a mom who lost her son. That she carried this baby. Mm -hmm. She nurtured this baby. <clears throat> and that she gave him to us. He, she gave life to us. Mm -hmm. There's no <clears throat> words, there's no words in the English language to say enough gratitude and thank you and how much we love you. I love you back. <laughs> I love you back.